Hi there, we're live from the Orlando Money Show. This is Stephanie Cameron, and I am here with Peter Schiff. I'm so excited to be interviewing you. Oh, well, happy to be interviewed. Especially now, you guys. You have some big stuff going on right now. Yeah, you know, the stock market bubble, right? Donald Trump, as a candidate, said it was a big, fat, ugly bubble. He right. was right, and it's sure. finally burst, and there's a lot of air to come out. Yeah, so what did you see in the past couple weeks? to pretty much let you know that, hey, we're, this is the top. We're yeah. going to crash right now. I started really warning about it. In fact, the, the, the Friday that we were down 666 right. points, I did a podcast saying, I think Black Monday is coming uh, right. a lot earlier this time than it did in 1987 in the year. I thought that Monday would be very weak. But even a few days before that, I started saying, hey, uh, our rising bond yields, the pin that's going to prick this stock market bubble, because what really got me... Uh, you know, not nervous because I, I wasn't long, but what got me to uh, to believe that we were headed for a significant decline was watching the uh, the backup in long-term bonds, the yields. In, right. As the, the yield on the 10-year Treasury got closer and closer to 3%, we're above 3% on the 30-year. And when we got the tax cuts passed, mm -hmm. right, that is a huge negative for the bond market because right. it means much bigger deficits because now the government has to borrow the money it used to collect in taxes. But now they just passed this new budget resolution, which is a massive increase in spending. The budget deficits now under Trump are actually going to be bigger than they were under Obama when we were in the worst recession since the Great Depression. This is unprecedented borrowing. and. When Obama was running these big deficits, the Fed was monetizing them. They right. were doing a trillion dollars a year QE. Now they're not doing any. Right. So that means we're going to have a massive increase in interest rates. Mm -hmm. That means stocks collapse. That means we're going into a recession. Mm -hmm. Because the only thing that's been propping up both the economy and the stock market has been artificially low interest rates, extremely unprecedentedly right. low interest Very rates. Very long. And if you look at everybody is loaded up with debt, we have record high student loans, mm -hmm. record high credit card debt, record high automobile debt, um, the savings rate is at a 10 year low, everybody is loaded up with debt and the only reason that we can afford it is because the rates are so low. Well, mm -hmm. they're about to go a lot higher and the party is over. Mm. So you're saying you're bullish. I'm <laughs> well, you know, the thing is, I don't think the Fed <laughs> is going to let all this happen. See, I think it's only yeah. a matter of time before the Fed cancels the rate hikes, mm -hmm. fesses up to rate cuts, and launches QE4. Yeah. But the problem is, it ain't going to work this time. It's going to blow up in their face because that is basically the nail in the dollar's coffin. That is going to send the dollar through the floor, the price of gold through the roof, and then we're going to have a much bigger thing on our, on, to worry about than a bear right. market or a recession. Right, especially if the dollar goes down. Yeah, and you know, yeah. last year was the first year in five that it fell, and it was the biggest drop in 14 years. Right. January was the worst January for the dollar mm -hmm. since 1987. I know. And 87 didn't end all that well, if you remember. I, I remember. And when we come back, we're going to talk about where the money is going to go and what we should invest to take advantage yeah. of this. Right, Peter? Awesome. Okay, all sure. Right. Thank you.